More than 2,000 students attend New Brunswick High School, teenagers learning how to become adults. But police say one of those students was no teen at all. She was 29 years old and lied on her birth certificate to enroll in school, sending a chill through folks around town. It's very scary. I wouldn't want my kids in that situation. You know, it's very worrisome. Police say Hee Jung Shin was arrested, and on Tuesday she was charged with providing a false government document. But school officials say she had been going to classes pretending to be a teenager for four days. Police haven't said why she did this, but other students at the school tell the local paper, New Brunswick Today, that she was making friends, and they fear she might have been trying to recruit girls for sex trafficking. Other teens in the neighborhood say that's frightening. I honestly would be really scared because, I don't know, like, having someone that's not from my school or knowing anyone around me coming to a school that's older than me, talking to me, and not having a good intention in my school and around my friends is just... It's frightening. The kids have been told to stop all contact with her online or in person. She had a fake birth certificate. That's kind of that's kind of scary because the schools usually do their job as far as um, records and so forth. So to know that right now is kind of a little nerves wracking. In a statement, the superintendent says they were following the law. A student requesting admission without being able to prove their identity must be provisionally admitted to the school. From that point, the student has 30 days to provide information that confirms their identity, or the district will have the option of declaring them ineligible to attend classes. The district says as soon as the school figured out they were dealing with a fraudulent situation, they called the authorities immediately. That said, they are reviewing policy and the law to figure out how to prevent this kind of thing from happening again. Reporting from New Brunswick, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.